What is up, you guys? My name is Blitz Version 1, and welcome to Mafia 3! That's it. I decided to say screw everything and join the Mafia. I am now Mafioso. So, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna kick some ass, take some names, and like I said, I'm really excited because I've been wanting to play this game since it came out. I finally was able to get it. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted music, but again, I'm not gonna pay for this anyway, so why not? Let's do this! Medium. It's too low. I like a little aim assist, because I'm a shit shot when it comes down to it. Well, oh, hell, loading screen. I guess I'll see you guys when it loads in! Mafia 3 takes place in the fictional version of the American South in the 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including the de depiction of racism. No shit. We find that racist beliefs, language, and behaviors of some characters in game abhorrent and we believe is a vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Play's story. Most of the uh, fuck. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in no 1947, a couple of years after he was born. Oh, fuck. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it matter. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, a bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Oh, finally in the gameplay? <laughs> Wow! Hi guys. Um, I probably zoomed my, I probably took myself off camera for, or off screen for that entire segment there. That was a pretty long segment, but I was dancing my ass off. That music is falling. Oh, look at that handsome devil. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. I do want to say something really interesting. That, the way they made this game is so, it looks almost like a fucking animated movie. I mean, no freaking joke, but like I was saying before that segment popped up, it's like, basically this is going to have a little bit of racial slurs and stuff like that. And um, again, this does not tie into any type of racism and stuff like that. That's just how they wanted to tell the game of this game. So if you guys don't like any of that stuff, I apologize. I'm going to keep this as real to the game as possible. So if you don't like some of the words that happen, I do apologize beforehand. I'm not going to censor this game any more than what this, they had to censor for themselves to be able to get the game made. So I do apologize. I'm not a racist in any type of way. You guys know by now, if you've been watching this channel for any type of time, I am a furry and I'm a gamer. So... 
I play a lot of games, and I watch a lot of furry stuff, and I, lo I lo want to be in the furry community. So, I mean, <coughs> that does not mean I'm going to fall into the furry crowds that are basically on a lynch hunt for Jason FX and K-Beer. So, I mean, that's a completely different story by itself. I'll probably go into a vlog on all that at a later date. I'm not going to go into that right now. Maybe that'll be another reaction type thing for another reaction or something like that. But, just know that <coughs> I'm not into any type of racist, anything like that. So, I'm going to play this as I'm going to play it. So, I mean, I do apologize if I get caught up in the moment and I say something stupid. I say something racist or something like that. I apologize way beforehand because I might accidentally do that. On or off camera, I do apologize in general right now. This is the complete disclaimer for this series. I'm probably going to make this a series. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. I haven't said to see how this goes on the channel. So, I'm going to quit bullshitting and we're going to pick up the goddamn keys. Okay, where are the keys? <laughs> oh, that's... You're, uh... Not burning anything, Lincoln. Or Lincoln. Clayton? What the fuck was your name again? I forgot. Room. Grab him so we can get the hell out of here. Shut up, Georgie. Uh, okay. Okay, that's how they do that, apparently. Square oak. Okay. Still not sure <laughs> about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we are. I was not expecting that. I'll take the chance. Hey, don't leave witnesses! Yeah, just in case. Okay. <laughs> what does that say? Okay. <laughs> okay, well. How's that? God dang. <laughs> we should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come I don't want to drive. I hate driving in games. Um. Um. How do we. Oh! There's a fucking door. <laughs> okay. Come on, Link. We're burning daylight. I was right. It's like. Wait, it's it's night. Get your ass in the car. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! There's a rear view. Can I turn the music off? Hold on. There we go. It's better. Just turn the music off. <laughs> man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like oh. you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. All right. I'll fuck you in the process. So answer me. What the fuck you doing? Crashing! What's it look like? I hate driving in video games. So answer me this. It's the craziest it's not thing not the same. You want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for <laughs> no fucking tax bill. Huh. That is right. Then they what? catch Al yeah. Capone on tax evasion. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. It might be just a game, but still. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. Watch out! What was it? <laughs> Goddamn, that might have scratched the paint. <laughs> what was I? You know what she says to me? <laughs> she says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, <laughs> damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, One he's got a point, cattle, though. Tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better than one delicious fucking pig. 
fucking right. That's fucked up, though. I mean, I can see it actually happening that way, but at the same time, you can always buy another fucking pig. <laughs> Baby is much more precious to life. To li All you're gonna do is slaughter the pig and eat it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Do that while you're getting banged so you can have another kid? That's just stupid. What's with the dang things popping up on the mini-map over there? Is it because I'm running the running lights? I, like I said, I apologize for my driving in these games because driving in a video game is not the same as driving in real life. I'll just leave it under the seat. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, uh, it is not the same as driving in real life. There's no the over. The, if you try to compensate, you overcompensate way too much. Fuck these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Oh, I'm supposed, oh, okay. I'm gonna say, am I supposed to park right in the green? Some games do that to you. <laughs> I am drinking. Uh, keep my throat nice and dry. Nice Back and it up to the loading dock. You got it, sir. You got it. You got it, sir. <laughs> What'd you say, sir? What did you say? Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and. Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. So, like I say, there's the end bomb right off the bat, and we've only been playing for 14 minutes. So. Oh, exit here. <laughs> when I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. <laughs> Do I have my gun? Why do you get a shotgun? Why do you get a shotgun? Oh, it's because I'm black? Or, well, Dominican? Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Okay, what am I doing? You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Where we going? Oh, that way. Okay. My bad, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, <laughs> hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. <laughs> so stupid. I mean, why, why are you letting him bring it in to begin with? I was like, you gotta leave that outside, so, uh, man. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> need to us. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. <laughs> and ain't old nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. No witnesses. <laughs> no witnesses. Oh, sorry. <laughs> These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Christ, look at that. <laughs> Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Nope, not at all. Here we are. <sighs> Hello. Where am I taking this? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Put those bags on the table there. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I've done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. 
Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Hmm. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a... That was a silent that takedown? Asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> Can I put him in there? No. Where's the stupid... Where's the buddy? Right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John. Christ! Finding cover. Shit. <laughs> Get a cover. Just, I ammo. Cover just, me. Ah, ah, ah. Fucked up. It hurts. It hurts. Get over here, man. Three. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I thought he was done talking. <laughs> oh, I hope this domination skeleton got it. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Oh my god! It's beautiful. Oh my god! Bling bling, mother trucker! Once these boys punch through that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. God damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. Alright. We're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. I figured that. This is fine. Where's that? Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Get out the way! Give me that damn thing. <laughs> Oh, lock. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, up to the green. Oh. Got it. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hello. Ah, L1 switch lights. Oh, I can only hear it too. Oh, that fucking sucks. Face way worse than this over a knob. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked Dang as cleaners and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of 
Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm not gonna get the... So is that... Really? I couldn't shoot any more people? I couldn't shoot you any more dudes? You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. <laughs> If only, sir. If only. Damn, homie! Look at that whiff! Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Is how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. Oh, yeah. Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Don't make me drive. I hate driving in video games. I suck at it. I can shoot. I can fight. I can do all kinds of shit. But driving? Uh, okay. Am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to put a waypoint. Okay, I did it. Oh! Right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. Oh. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Oh, I need over here. I'm sorry! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, mama. Daddy lag, daddy lag. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Fucked up my new car. Where's the e brake? Oh, shit. shit, shit. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Suck at driving in video games. <laughs> you remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin that they're looking <laughs> for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. <laughs> we ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys yeah, in the who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man. Shit balls, man. What? That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. Oh, no shit. Go along with that. Sorry, I'm like Georgie so concentrating on my driving right now. We are still clear the high low Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but he's <laughs> a <laughs> pool. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. So what, did this guy go in the future to a bank robbery that went south, 
And then this is before that. That was Mardi Gras. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna park on a crosswalk. Oh. I have to actually get through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you to back down. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Claire home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always did love corn whiskey. <laughs> I would like to make a toast. Hey, there's the father. Yeah, this is weird. The word of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... It's really cool. So proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Okay, I'm guessing that's French, right? <laughs> so good. <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> Now who wants to get shit faced? Who doesn't want to get shit faced, Ellis? It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped. In a dark room, and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day, a door opens, and you're free to go. Ellis <laughs> kind of reminds yes. me of Carl. <laughs> you made your peace with your terror and your Ooh, hello. <laughs> and now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door one way or another. <laughs> yeah, I'm Man, that whiskey's going to in the morning. <laughs> Man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? What the fuck? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. It fucked up a lot of people. That's actually really trippy. That. Hold on, we're gonna go to. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here because I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to try and keep these down to about 30 minutes piece. But I think I'm going to make a series out of this. I think I'm going to play this just for the channel because this is a lot of fun and it's really cool. I'm going to get quiet on some of it and I apologize for that again in advance because I don't kind of want to know the story myself. But yeah, I'm um, talking about Vietnam and stuff like that. My father, my, um, my father-in-law, God rest his soul, um, he was a Vietnam War. He was actually a Marine. Hoorah. Uh, so I have mad respect for Marines. They've seen some shit. <laughs> they have seen some shit. And he told us some stories about the war and stuff like that. And Vietnam veterans went through some shit. So if you guys know anybody from Vietnam or any kind of veterans, give them a, a hearty hello or give them a pat on the back or something because they deserve your utmost respect, whether they're Air, Air Force, Army, Navy, Marine, whatever. Any type of veteran deserves our respect because they are fighting to make it to where we can survive and we have a free world to so, I'm not going to get too preachy about that. That just touched a really interesting nerve right there. So, all that being said, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed Mafia 3. And I'm going to go ahead in this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, and peace out.
가자. 